are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Tony, very what? Very, very, mm, there's a word called mm, spelled with um. Mm, 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 thank you very much. Then you got it. Come and talk. I know, I know. There's a lot to say, but uh, we have to hold on. And of course, uh, understand that we are just fifty something years old, and uh, explain, some countries explain, explain, are explain, about two hundred years old. You gotta explain, explain, explain. DJ Shinsuke. Yeah, yeah. There. I want to say a very big thank you to Pastor G yesterday for giving us that master class on you know um, getting behind. The, or into the data on the making of some of the classic hits we have in this country and uh, I want to say shouts good out to him jump onto our socials you find it all on there as well this morning we are very excited to have another brother in the house um, aka futuristic Kwame <laughs> join us live in the studio yes <laughs> so no Kwame we are not giving fans for nothing no, as I, you are giving the fans they are I, I, throwing I, the dollars you you the dollars I'll use bitcoin you go explain to I, Where, where's the address because yeah. <laughs> hey, before I understand you can understand Kwame start making some money we don't understand oh yeah oh yeah I'll be call them I'll get pulled I'll say hey oh I got one number what is wrong I, yeah, no, yeah. he's doing it magically and beautifully. And yeah. then, I mean, Charlie, the transition, I want to understand, I mean, when, how, what, why did you get into a space, a space you find yourself in now? And tell right. us the space you find yourself in now right. about right. it before we jump into the conversation okay. for this morning. Okay, great. So I think first off, it's important to establish that this is like a full family reunion. Of course. Right. So on the left mm. is an artist I managed no, before. No, 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 a father. Uh, that's that's my that's my godfather. Oh, that I was road manager for. Yes. Uh, on the right is like a sister I know for like almost a decade. Yes. On this far right is a guy I literally trained. Like I trained this guy uh-huh. when he was coming up. Uh-huh. And then right opposite is uh, this is the first family. man I went to. Uh, Twenty one thirty one in two thousand and nine. I, just, oh. I don't yes. have gray hair. I, I don't went to have, his office. I don't have. But both of you don't have gray hair. Uh, no. No, no, don't do that. We're not that old. <laughs> you have to be investigated. They have died, they are. Or they are drinking blood. <laughs> if you have to choose your evil. So why don't get it down? So why, why, come, why have you been like, you, you see, now you're saying family reunion. That means yeah. you've, you've used that, all of us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stepping <laughs> through. So, no, no, no. So, so, family are just vanishing. <laughs> for the vanishing. So I think what happened was, um, for me, it, it was sort of like an epiphany, right? I, I woke up one day and realized, Charlie, uh, our showbiz, yeah, um, and its economic equivalent over a period of time. And this was, I mean, you know, we went yeah. deep into it, like looking at the greats, looking at the artists, looking at the uh, the actors and actresses, and then yeah. looking at their shelf life. Three to five years, you're mm-hmm. gone, you know, Hi-ish. and then you're broke, and then you know, it's like, nah, hey, this mean, could will be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> long, long term sustainability, this is not gonna work. And if you look at it, the hold the, it right there, hold on <laughs> right. Current affairs, uh, mm. uh, media personalities, or journalists. Mm. Oh. Jay, I say this to you without fear, and I rehearse this. Um, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Seacrest <laughs> is only Ryan Seacrest over you because of where he's positioned, period. Oh. Yeah. Point blank oh. period. Yeah. Uh, I, I we can close you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have a shirt. I have a, I have a long sleeve shirt. No, I don't see, know. Just do you have any cuts here? I don't have any cuts. I'm only saying that. Boy, we've never started. Boy, you're born your woman, girl. Boy, you're not even far away. Guys, just yesterday, Jay, Cyril, and I were having a conversation during one of our music breaks where we were saying that it's not enough in yeah. in Ghanaian entertainment to just do one thing. We yeah. wish we could just come on TV and radio and just do that thing and move on. Yeah. But because of how the ecosystem is, you have to do so many nah. things still in entertainment. We don't have an ecosystem. And then we don't have an ecosystem. Sorry, I don't think sorry, yeah. I think, sorry, I, I apologize. Because of how the system, I've I removed the I don't think we even have an, <laughs> an industry. Because they are coming to So me. to answer your question, I, I looked at the long-term sustainability and then I realized the same craft that we pedal is is what you can use is communication is mm. the ability to you know transfer thought and ideas yeah. from one place to the other and that's what we do 
And so I looked at adjacent opportunities and I realized that the public speaking space was uh, fertile and it was untapped. Mm. Um, and I like, let me give it a go. Uh, wow. And then I, I just jumped. This was in 2014 and I didn't look back again. Did you have any training or some sort? Oh, this was the TV, the stuff that you, you, you walked me through when we were at Foresight. It's the same thing. Like, it's the same speaking, it's the same stuff that you're doing here. But I needed to polish up for presentations, standing mm. in front of people and engaging. Um, and stuff like that. So I got the training on the job, which okay. is one of the things we're going to talk about. I actually uh, attended the University of YouTube. So Legon was something, but I graduated <laughs> from the University of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you next paying you? I feel excuse you, but I'm not talking about you. Ah, okay, okay, okay. God, okay, you. so you tabbed into YouTube. Yeah, that's where I started from. That's Watching which videos? Uh, so when I started at the time, I, I didn't know any Africans then. There was Les Brown, there was Gary Vaynerchuk, he was just coming up. So um, I'm what they call an autodidact, like somebody who is self-thought. Like I, So I control my education. So I started watching them, uh, doing the practice, two hours of practice in front of the mirror, record yourself, stuff like that. And then I discovered an African who was doing it at a high level. His name was Vuzi Temekoyo. He's South African. Okay. And I'm like, okay, that's, a, that's an African. And he's saying he gets paid in dollar. Okay, then it's possible. Now I see somebody I can relate with. So then he became the blueprint of what I started mm. studying and said, let's, let's look at how it goes. And What, it, what are some of the characteristics that you picked, the things about him right. know, that also made him very unique, that attracted you to? I think the, the first thing was how serious he took the craft. I mean, Jay, you've known me for long. This mm -hmm. is not how I used to speak. Yeah. It's because at this point, I've, I've, I've polished my craft. So I loved how he, he spoke. I loved his confidence. I loved the structures around him. If you went on his website, you looked at, looked at his rate card. His technical right. rider had microphones he used. And if he didn't have those microphones, he wouldn't speak at your conference. Right. Wow. Yes, oh, sir. He's the highest paid public speaker in Africa, charges $30,000 for 45 Five minutes huh? pop. He's Hi. been he's been in Ghana three times. He was paid that amount. Ha. Yes, sir. Ha. Wow. Yes, sir. I got to know Vuzi Tembekwayo through you yes. because you kept posting talking about content yeah. and yeah. talking he's about him yeah. over yeah. and over and over again. Yeah. But the, the details of you know all of these yeah. things I did not know about, yes. Yes. right? But how has that impacted you? I mean, beyond how he speaks what he charges, you know, um, uh, how he's into um, liquid cash, you know, all of that. Well, it, I, I think it's it's set, you know, sort of like the the platform for what I do now. Okay. It's what feeds me. It's what feeds my family. It's what puts food on the table for mama, you yeah. know. So um, apart from everything that I picked from him, I think that being able to pick the craft, um, building structures around it, building business around it that's able to put food on the table, I think that's what we're all looking for, yeah. right? And, and because he was the blueprint and he was the best, when I shot for him, I sort of like jumped to the top as well. You, you can't call top five in Africa and leave me out. It yeah. would be a big problem, right? Yeah. So um, he, that, that for me was what he did for me. And I think that he, he revolutionized the way I think. He, he changed the way I looked at things globally as compared to locally. Mm. Um, he's the reason why I eventually left Ghana because location matters. We probably will talk about that at some point. Ha, ha, um, so. Abu Dhabi. <laughs> What are you trying to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come back? So you say talk again? Bro, and they watch me being Maybe <laughs> show. Today I'm tuned in. <laughs> to uh, uh, to you guys are doing well. <laughs> show. Interestingly, Cyril is, is the man who used to call me back then. It's like Kwame, go, keep going. Don't don't turn back. Don't look left. Go, go, just go. Run. And when you come back, let's do conference. So he Chale, knows. We've had these conversations Chale, so, over so, and over So again. that thing they say about, I mean, people have made it in Ghana, so I, we can't downplay that no, anyway. Sir. But there's still that conversation about greener pastures. I think it's true. I think Sheesh. that um, out there, the one thing you will realize is people who are less as talented and as gifted as you uh -huh. are making a hundred times what you're making. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a disrespect to your gift. Kitty said that yeah. if you're born in Africa, you are you have ten years back. Chinese you are ten years back. Absolutely, absolutely. So is... unfortunately, it is what it is. Wow. Yes. Sir. So it's been a building. Uh, it's been well creating a new self. Yes. For the past, uh, let's say eight nine, nine years. Yes. Of doing this, yeah. what are some of the learnings on this journey? Um, I think the first thing I probably learned was people don't care as much as we think they do. Jeez. Uh. 
Um, and so oftentimes, when the show at night 13, then it's night 13, then we finish. I thought Siri was violent, I thought Siri was savage, but. No, no, no. She said, the, people the don't care. Business. No, Relax. people don't care. I think it's a psychological bias called a spotlight mm. bias, where you think and you feel like everybody's looking at you. Yeah. But if you understand the, the plethora of troubles that people are in, people are really minding their business, right? Mm -hmm. So that for me, that was the first thing. The analysis paralysis is not important. If you want to do it, I remember starting this, and all my entertainment guys, I mean, Bollery, whoever, is like, no, Kwame, don't go. You're the next big thing. Where are you going? I'm like, guys. I have seen it, you know, and at that time I had caught the trend of the internet and where it was going. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wasn't stopping. So that was the first thing. The second thing is if you believe in something radical, radically long enough, it sticks. Mm -hmm. You know, so in the beginning, everybody was like, what do you know about entrepreneurship? What are you going to talk about digital? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know nothing. You've not done two, three years. Nobody questions that results silence the critics. Mm -hmm. And so the only thing you should be focused on is building value, a value proposition, mm -hmm. and deliver, executing and delivering results. Yeah. Once the results come, everybody will keep quiet. Um, the final thing I probably will put on this is never underestimate the power of personal branding mm -hmm. and the leverage that technology provides for us. Uh, because I think the one thing uh, technology did that we might not have paid attention to mm -hmm. is the fact that it it eliminated <coughs> the middle person. Mm -hmm. So if you never put me on the show for three music and for plus to put mm -hmm. me out there on the waves, every single day I'm dropping a video on my Instagram. Yeah, I have a video that's a, that that's done about five million views and one point eight two million of them were Americans. You know, so just a here that we don't we fire. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, real. Uh, unfortunately, and I'm gonna say, I'm, I know I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for this. I'm ready for them. I get bill money, bro. It's um, <laughs> it's very interesting that the poorest countries are the ones that call their knowledge merchants scammers. It's rather the poorest countries that call their knowledge, knowledge merchants, merchants scammers. scammers. And mm. and it's the the poorest people that would not pay for education. They'd rather pay for entertainment. Yeah. And the so, poorest people would rather pay for entertainment. So, so uh, a party ticket of a thousand cities is not expensive, but Kwame's conference for five hundred cities. <laughs> 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 uh, happiness. If I broke down my business, <laughs> so um, I love that. care for the night. <laughs> <laughs> so this same. These same poorest countries also have um, some unique traits. Yes, sir. That I want to know how it's affected you on returning and coming, having to interact. So the reason why most of them have that bias is because we view things through our insufficiencies. Yes, sir. Not our optimism. Yes, sir. So approaching somebody with, oh, fully come serial in school. I go teach you five hundred cities. Blah blah. The reason why you are knee jerk to fight against that is because you presuppose it means the person offering it is superior to you yeah mm. and that insufficiency is what gets you to be defensive yes sir and negative towards yeah. it yeah right yeah but this guy why you for come exactly mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. Yeah. 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 what can we do yeah can we what can we do with yeah exactly yeah. 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 so that so we we as a whole country today we look at everything through our insufficiency yeah now coming back from yeah. the real world yes sir where people are not like that how has the cultural uh, shock been like um, trying to engage yeah, those radical the ideas shock, yeah to people so, who who it starts at kotukado so people who are praying outside of uh, <laughs> bilan france and science <laughs> uh, uh, competition the cultural shock one. they begin kotukado mm. immediately you get in you sometimes when you, you are you depends on where you're coming from maybe if you catch north maybe, maybe from maybe land Bro, Accra, my, sister, from Accra. my sister came from the states yesterday yeah. and we were chatting uh, so she got up network when she got to the airport when she, when they were getting to the border and she, she she just messaged me that oh i'm I'm here and i'm like ah where she was like oh, we should be landing in like three minutes and i was like how do you know are you the pilot he's like everybody's taking off their sweater 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> I can screenshot. My brother, hey, 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 you understand? Hey, the Ghanaians know banned. that hey, as network start can you are banned. And messages we, started. We had, the ground is hot. Hey. So people are in the plane. HR. Already, I'm like, <laughs> see, the way I laugh eh, you are <laughs> banned. You can't catch me that. Can you imagine? You are banned. You are in free hell. If you like, where's your time, bro? No, no, no. Anyway, so that's a very difficult one. And to be politically correct, I'm going to be very careful. It's almost impossible to deal with our people. Uh, so for instance, and I don't say this in a bad way, I don't have a single Ghanaian on my team, apart from my executive assistant. Ah. My entire team is made of Nigerians and non-Africans. I work with wow. seven people. I have wow. my the two agencies that represent me. One is based in South Africa, the other is based in the States. Um, and it's because you can't go global with the mindset you just described. The, the biggest thing is we do not judge people by the content and the tangibility of their ideas. We judge them. Yeah. Mm. So regardless and irrespective of how competent my presentation is, it's not the substance. The it's the guy. The guy. That's where the biggest problem is. So since I've been back, I've just like I'm actually in town speaking at a conference this Saturday, fourth November, University of Ghana. F yeah, future. Yeah, of future work. of work. Yeah. I leave there. I'm in Kenya, twenty twenty second to twenty fourth. Then I'm in South Africa, second December, and I go back home. So where home is, where is home? Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> so I live in Dubai now, full time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let them know. And the weather will be good this this Christmas. So <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Let me go. Let me go back to. What now? Best Oji Ghana. Best Oji Ghana. Best Oji Ghana. Best Oji Ghana. No, the issue is it's crazy. It's, it's bigger than we. Yes, it's we, a sad thing. We are it's a big one. I'm thinking. You know, yes, and <clears throat> it is like we. We sometimes toy with it, we play with it, we laugh with it, yes, but sir. we've we've been pushed down. And I don't want to say Ghana per se, but sometimes the African mindset we've been pushed down so deep yes, that sir. we think a pothole is okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we think it it's is normal. okay to yeah. have a yeah, hole yeah. in the road. Yeah. Let me not even say pothole; that's too common. Yes, sir. Have a hole in the road, yeah. and that's where we've gotten to. We think it's okay to see uh, a sand picked up. You know, clogged up by the on the corner of the the the, the road yes, sir. Be between the curb and the asphalt itself. Yes, we sir. think it's okay because yes, it is okay. That's what we've been pushed to. But anyway, you said something that takes us to our conversation this mm -hmm. morning, yeah. talking about the internet highway, which you, you brought that up, and I was like, boom, <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, you know, an an economic empowerment too. Yes, sir. Um, the whole because you picked up, you use the digital media to Fully. empower yourself. Fully. Before we even talk about how you did that, yeah, there there is um. In your dealings and engagement and understanding the the, the Ghanaian yes, sir. per se, do you think that we have adopted the internet, that these social social uh, media apps, yeah. as pleasure apps or as empowerment apps? So, Where do we lean towards the so, more? So it's, I, I would throw it back to you as a rhetorical. Do you think Ghanaians are using the internet or is the internet using Ghanaians? She says. Can I answer? Hey, 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 don't uh, add to it. I know where it's coming from. Um, <laughs> Kwame is here under the auspices. I, I, <laughs> I, I rebuke you from giving that response. Oh, oh Debbie. See how I'm not going to score a hat trick. I'm not talking uh, about that one. score a hat trick of that response. I'm not I'm going to. Jay, Jay, why are you going? Jay, why are you going? <laughs> I just want to see you. He's, a, he's about to remind I, us. No, I know, I know. Hey, I promise you, I, I will not. I will not. I will not, I will not bring up. To. Bro, I won't bring up the fact that we are watching Bono. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to talk about something else. Have, have you seen the Pornhub statistics, though? I, I am you, the, I am the statistician here. Wait, 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 hold on. Just eh? Do you have any new updates on that, on those stats? No, I don't. I think the last one is what it's I mean. valid. Yeah, eh? yeah, it's valid. It's, mm. it's, 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 yeah. So I was going to say that <laughs> if. You are if you are if you say you are you are a, a, a musician uh -huh. and you are playing kung -kuh, kuh, 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 and yeah. that's your instrument right. and it's a cacophony it's noise it's nonsense right. if you are given a PA system it's not going to change the value or the quality of what you are playing it's just going to amplify yes. the nonsense for a lot of things in this country that's all the internet has done it has carried the same mindset the same problems the same broken character traits and amplified them on the internet. The same way it amplified them on radio, 
It amplified them on TV. It amplified them in real life. Yes, sir. The internet is just another micro, uh, uh, microscope under which we can see everything that is wrong with yeah. us. Hold on, it's okay, hold stop. You had, it's okay, stop. As you hey, outside. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to stop him before he started. <laughs> Let's continue. Yes. Has the internet used us or we have I, used the internet? So th this is how we would judge it. I think we would judge it maybe by three metrics. Number one um, is how much value has it added to you as opposed to taking from you. So it's called smartphone for a reason, yeah. right? And again, please don't let me get into trouble. Um, if you spend more money on this, if this thing takes more money from you, then how smart is this in your hand and in effect? How smart are you? Are you? <laughs> right? So... That's the first thing. The first thing we need to look at is... Phone ne Jimmy. Last lad, that's what I'm trying to say. Phone ne Jimmy. Hey Jimmy. So I think generally, uh, from from where I sit, from the little I've seen, we don't use the internet. Um, in fact, first off, a lot of people are using just about 5% the functionalities of the devices in their hand. Yeah. I shoot all my content on a Samsung. Yeah. I do 90% of my research on the phone. Mm. I record my podcast on the go. My emails I plugged in. My trading apps are in here. Almost my entire life sits on this thing that we're, we have in our hand. <laughs> so I think the first thing is which value does it add? Secondly is, of course, the, the economics of it. So mm -hmm. um, if if... It, if it's taking more from you than adding to you, it's a liability, basic economics. I'm not a business student, but if it takes more than it adds, then you are definitely a, losing yeah. too, so we need to. And then the final thing is, and that's probably where the, the serial's biggest issue is, uh, how or what is it amplifying mm -hmm. when, when it comes to you? Is it amplifying your idiocy or is it amplifying your genius? That's what we need to look at. And again, um, my mentor said something very, very powerful, and I wrap up with that and then we go to the next question. He says that you can tell the future of any country by how they treat their thinkers versus how they treat their entertainers. Jesus. Oh. So let me drive the point home. Do you think there are no superstars in China? They are. Yeah, well, they are, obviously. Don't we have amazing, you know, like actors and actresses in, in, in Asia? Yeah. But Why almost. is it that it's their production and manufacturing capacity that travels to the world? Until Gangnam Style, none of us knew a big Chinese superstar. Mm -hmm. You can tell the future of a country by how they treat their thinkers versus their entertainers. It's the reason why if 2000 can go viral before I go viral, it is a clear a indication oh, of where I'm the country outside. is going. Uh, hey, Chale Kwame. Uh, Chale? Yeah, we make you close off. I, mean, I don't know. Then, ah, <laughs> where are they going? <laughs> uh, yeah, huh. I was waiting for this thing. Oh. <laughs> I bet mean, you go bring some. Wow, Kwame. Bro, <laughs> wow. I'm trying to drink my own head. <laughs> <laughs> And they figure out how I no, fit swallow my own head. No, yes. no. No, bro, today. Yo. Call fire service, please. Come down. Violence. Yes. Intellectual violence. 2000. Yeah. Fresh from the jungle. Yes. He's gone. Everything fresh. And this uh, year, Ghana, Ghana uh, there's another back. one where you, there's another one. This year, uh, there was something that was, uh, to the year, from the year no, 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 Labadi, is that what you, you have that's to, him. That's two, yeah. no, 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 first from Nature God. No, 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 that's not, that's hey. not, there's another one. He said, uh, that the police, he said the police, something, something, this year, the police, if you do what, they will, uh, 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 no, 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 if you do what, they will wide you, or if you are, something, something, in the video, escapism. So, so, that's so it. wait, 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 wait. Go back to the third point. Let's <laughs> let's let's let's, let's dissect the third no, no, point. Fresh yeah. from nature God. If we are able to let <laughs> such videos go viral yeah. and give the necessary amplification yes, and please. attention yes, using please. these same platforms, yes. because we want to mock, we want to tease, we, we want, want to, to troll. Troll. We we we've what we've done is we have put into a comedic um, subset all our tragedies. All of the things that should freak us out and should have us motivated. Heavy, that's what we laugh about. And in some ways, a survival mechanism. It's, it's some form of survival because we are literally where we sit, we're in, we in a fit. We're always in survival mode. So if young Fabia that's the that's the phrase. Mm -hmm. So what happens is laudable ideas, concepts, 
things that can progress us don't, don't get attention. Why? The average person doesn't care about this English I'm speaking. Or dream the obedi home. Mm -hmm. So at some point, if we want to have this conversation for real, we, you understand that it is by design that our systems are like this. Hmm. Some, invis some invisible hand wants it to be like this. There's a reason why the algorithm favors certain stuff. Mm -hmm. When I went viral, I went viral for a video where I was given Netflix recommendations. Even though it was educational material mm -hmm. on Netflix, none of the stuff I spoke about in terms of innovation, how we can use blockchain to cut corruption, yeah, I, none, of, none of the innovative stuff, I mean, none of those things went viral. It was when you were healed by... It was uh, when by I by... was pushing a narrative that still fits the entertainment thing. So I think it's a big problem. And it's not just a Ghana thing. It's actually an African white thing. But I think some of the countries in Africa have taken a better step. Um, here, we use the internet more for injury than we use for progress. Jesus. Hey. Simbin. Okay. Come in closer so I let you go. Yeah, we have like 30 minutes to go. You know, it's, it's, it's I, I dare say it's a fact. It is. Yeah. It is. That's what I'm very, that very quiet. The, the um, approach to, I, I always ask myself, why did I sign up for Facebook? Yes, sir. Why? Bro, you I haven't been far. able to answer that question. Me. Yes. Why did you go on Thread? Good question. Facebook there was years ago. We yeah, no, naive. I am going back to the beginning. Well, well, no, Facebook we were all naive. It was a new thing. Yeah, it was part of it. I also went <laughs> in the early days because High Five was not showing. Yeah, people. yeah, my space was also yeah, missing. Yeah. So we, we all went to Facebook. So now that we have learned this thing, we learned, 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 why did you sign up for Thread? So, in answer to the question, yeah. maybe just be, be being fair to Ghanaians, we wanted to be part of a conversation that yes. was happening globally. Yes. We wanted to fit into the space. Yes. And say but what? When we got into the space, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. so I'm coming, I'm coming to that, that answer. No, you said join the conversation, not observe the conversation, because that's what we do. No, I, well, okay, in, in, I'm trying to uh, uh, describe what the global phenomenon of just being part fear of, of missing the out. fear of missing out. So I'm going there to see what's going yes, to happen. Sir. So yes. I joined. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when I say I, I speak for all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hate it or love it. But it is now understanding what these social apps present. Yes, sir. Is what has become the challenge. Yes. Sir. So I want us to take it one by one. I okay. mean, um, what can I? I know there are billion and one apps that out you there. Can, yeah. Yes, that we can. Yeah. But for example, YouTube. Right. You picked it up for the purposes of education. Yes. Uh, let's enlighten ourselves with okay. some of these apps and what opportunity is there? there. Is there? Okay. You know, if we can speak to. I mean, okay. you 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 know the creator of the apps, but. What opportunities are there for us to be able to tap into? All right. So I think to do that, let me let me build a base, a foundation okay. for us okay. to understand mm -hmm. how the internet even started in the first place. So we can understand the commercialization and mm -hmm. how it became a global phenomenon. So it was initially built as a military technology. It's They called it ARPANET, A-R-P-A-N-E-T. Okay. This was packet switching, uh, TCP, IP, um, protocol suites and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then eventually they realized that in being able to establish um, long distance communication points, we could actually build a value system on top of it. Okay. So the original idea of the internet was to be able to build a global marketplace where ideas and value is exchanged. This was the, in, the original idea. Mm -hmm. Now, when that came, it started with giving us access to information. So I'll take you to three iterations of the internet. That's what we call Internet 1.0, Internet 2.0, Internet 3.0. You want to understand the power of the internet? Nobody taught me this in the classroom. I did psychology in University of Ghana. I never took my certificate. I've been out here for like the last 14 years. I've never needed it. And I probably get paid more than my vice chancellor. Aye, but aye, let's aye. continue. So <laughs> the, the first iteration of the internet 1.0 was what we call the read-only web. All yeah. we could do was read dial up Yahoo. That was the biggest search engine binge. Then we got Yahoo chat that allowed us to be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. Social was what delivered the internet into a lot of hands because initially when it was a means for getting information, just mm -hmm. like Cyril said, the internet itself was not going to in any way change the person. The person was just going to bring what. So if you were lazy and didn't like research and you didn't like going to libraries to read books, having it on the internet on a computer wouldn't do anything. This is one point or two point oh. One point. This 1. is one point oh going two point oh. Two point oh is when we got what we call internet cafes, with the cyber cafe right. thing, blue screen. A lot of people sitting next to me were watching porn half the time. So th a lot that's of us. That's where we started. That's where we started creating con the con statistics. Continue. <laughs> 
<laughs> so oh, 2.0 is read and write. So now we could actually, and this is where everything changed. Once we could get something called user-generated content and we could contribute to the internet, yeah. value systems were established, money could exchange mm -hmm. hands. That's what birthed the, the idea of influencers and all of that. So now I could send you an email. We were on Facebook. We were on MySpace, High yeah. Five, eventually Twitter, Instagram, and then all of these mm -hmm. things came. The third iteration of the internet is something you actually mentioned, which is literally the future of the world as we know, decentralization. So that is read, write, and own. Because if Jay Foley says, I own a Facebook page, the question is, what do you really own? Because we've, we've, we've woken up in the morning and, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's uh, uh, servers are down mm. and your Facebook page is nowhere to be found. You own so what do you really, you own nothing. You're building on rented land. That's why I use the internet highway as a topic for this conversation. Mm. So that's the basis of what it is you have the understanding of a thing then you'll be able to get the right application of it the biggest problem with our people is to seek knowledge is a it's something we just don't apply ourselves to. No level of due diligence. Hearsay is the way we operate. Yeah. Madame for say, mm -hmm. that's it. It's, it's final. Mm -hmm. I will use a biblical mm -hmm. analogy. I mm -hmm. hope I don't get into trouble. Paul described two groups of people. He said the people in Berea, they were more noble than the people in Thessalonica. Why? Because after they received the scripture, they will search it out. The other reference is that it is the, gl the, mm -hmm. the, the glory of God to um, um, conceal a thing and it is the honor of kings to search it out. Mm. Our people don't like to search anything out. Our first stance by hearsay is mm -mm. and it goes into our journalism. Dr. UN, no, Dr. UN. Hey. 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 Now, let me answer your question. What are uh, the bro, things? Hi. <laughs> yes, sir. You'll be okay. I'll be cool. they make you some coffee or something. <laughs> yeah, to be like, what yeah, are doing well, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. So, what's possible on the internet? <laughs> oh, lies with you. Oh, bro, I know. <laughs> what's possible on the internet? Let me say it from high levels, then we come low. Mm -hmm. An entire same quality level MBA education program is possible for free if you can invest the time. And the band, the data bandwidth to actually get it from the internet. Look at that. True. Yeah. Yes, sir. Please say it again. Um, we are live on Facebook. Let me say shout uh, some people on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> Joseph, I see you. Rojj, hey, bro, what's up? Uh, Anas, um, they are saying a lot of things here. We'll come to their questions. You can also ask us questions via our social media platform on Facebook if you're watching us live on there as well. Or tweet at us or X at us. Now nah, it's no, no, no longer the, Twitter. Yeah, mm, X at us mm -hmm. at. Hey. Yes, X us. Uh, yo, you, let's <laughs> so what I was saying, first of all, is it is possible for you to acquire MBA level quality of education, not by Ghana standards, by global standards, free by on the you, for free on the Internet by using and utilizing. In fact, it's so deep that people will say, oh, um, you can go on Khan Academy or Coursera. These are all paid yeah, platforms Coursera, and they have free yeah. uh, versions of it. Bro, if you are deep netizen, which is what they call mm -hmm. citizens of the internet, mm -hmm. you literally can find people who, and this is a bad thing, but who actually get the courses off there, and for a one-time fee, you can access all the courses on those platforms if you can't afford paying for each course. And I'm not in any way pushing plagiarism or stealing people's work, but I'm saying that's possible. possible in yeah. fact, the University of YouTube is such a gold mine of information. Bro, I say this and I hope natural security. If you go on YouTube now and you search how to make a BOMB, you'll find somebody who will teach you step by, by step. step how to build that thing. You, you want to start a perfume? How to steal somebody's girl. Bro, what can't you learn? Everything I'm talking about, I started by learning digital marketing at the time. It was only Facebook. That's what we had. So Facebook marketing. I moved from there. I learned how to do Instagram online. I moved from there. I started looking at Twitter. Then I moved from there. I realized people were running in that space. So I moved into the entire digital marketing landscape, how to build SEO when we started having search with Google. So search engine optimization, uh, backlinks, um, um, AdWords, you know, how to do ads. Every single, every single scale that has made me money i have never and i don't say this in any way to throw dust on education but i have never earned a dollar apart from of course it built a foundation for me to be intelligent and to be able yeah. to decipher information but i have never earned any dollar from, from what they taught me i did psychology in university of ghana almost in accra ghana <laughs> what you want to use psychology do in this ghana who sang how, how? because here 
To be depressed is three more Utrim na yo then our rich people. Nobody will even come for me. So um, that's the first thing you can learn. That's for the learning part. Mm. You can control your education. You can update your skills. You can upgrade your skills for little to nothing. The second thing mm -hmm. is these platforms are distribution channels. This mm -hmm. is the other thing that people have missed out on. These platforms. There's a guy I follow called Alex Homozy. Alex Homozy did a launch of a digital product, a book. Um, you order the book. Um, Amazon will print it and ship it to you. He what? had 200,000 people live on YouTube. In hey. a space of one hour, 22 minutes of launching the product, he did $2 million live on YouTube. What? Alex Homozy, go check lot. him out. That's a lot. And he what? does like 10 of these product, uh, pro product launches in a year. What? Yes. $2 million. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, distribution channels, <sighs> all of these platforms, if you are anybody who is serious about intellectual discourse, about commerce, and you don't have an active, well-defined profile on LinkedIn, I don't actually know what you're doing online. If you understood the goldmine of network that's available on LinkedIn, you won't waste your time on extrolling people. Yeah, let, let's, let's talk about that space. <laughs> okay. I mean. So, LinkedIn is the bougie house for intellectuals. So a lot of the things that pass on X will never pass on LinkedIn. It's the reason why a lot of our people don't show up because they cannot be part of the conversation. Because on LinkedIn, you are judged for two things. Number one, that you are judged for your competence. Mm -hmm. And secondly, you are judged for your achievements or that which you've done. And other people need to corroborate what you're actually saying you're doing. Yeah. So if uh, Jay says that I work in 3Music, mm -hmm. people in 3Music need to go and down there and endorse that he actually does. So it's in one way or the other, it helps to sift out fraud and stuff like that. <laughs> but <laughs> and, and then looking at her, the kind of people that we are, that place you know, um, So our people know they come there like that. Our people know like come like that. You know, so LinkedIn is oh, a very man. powerful, especially for people who are looking for jobs. You've been holding a brown envelope, hot scorching sun. You're doing two years now, guy. In fact, for that two years, you could have committed three to six months of four hour studies a day to pick up three skills that would have paid you in the first 90 days. I know, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So distribution channels is the other thing. The third thing is relationships. Never has it been easy to reach out if you're a high value person i repeat never ever in the history of the world has it been this easy if you're a high value person mm. to reach out to anybody across the world and be able to connect in an instant yeah instant through the internet through the internet any country i'm about to go to for the first time all i do is push two or three of my best videos to that place by sponsored ad get the videos in there by the time it runs for three days two four five people have already messaged me guy i like your content what's going on we saw a flyer you're coming to kenya what's happening by the time i land i have five friends strategic strategic that's the power of the internet the final thing real money is being made on this thing called the internet real tangible money now of course people are going to talk about um, all the possibility of fraud and scam which system have humans built that was totally devoid of scam none none check every single system we've built since they look at your banks they crashed in one go 39 or so financial institutions yeah. were folded in one go so of course as far as there is legitimacy on any platform counterfeiting would be there because there are well. always mm -hmm. the people who want to cut corners and they want the short route yeah counterfeit actually only thrives on greed and people who want to skip process again the problem of our generation we're very microwavy in the way we think mm -hmm. we want finished product with no process so we see the blinks we see jay foley said at three music we don't understand the 25 30 years of work mm -hmm. you've actually put in to become who you are mm -hmm. so we have the i want to be like you syndrome dude can are you sure you can be like me i sit here and speak the way i speak because i do six hours of research every freaking day my work is knowledge merchanting. Exactly. Yes, I, I, yeah. I, I'm a met, I'm like what I do is I sell knowledge. The day the the, the things that I know become um, goes into oblivion, I don't exist. There was a guy who was the biggest in our space when I was coming up. Please don't let me forget his name. Siru, you should remember this man. Um, Doctor, uh, what was his name? God, he was uh, he was like the biggest motivational speaker. Oh, okay. dead to me. Dead to me. Dead to me. Dead to me. Dead on arrival. Yeah. Dead on arrival. Because as a knowledge merchant, the instant your knowledge becomes obsolete, you're gone. So 
that for me is one anybody who's going to really utilize the internet needs to understand the attitude with which you need to approach it it's not a get rich quick scheme it's not an easy way to do it it's just a better way in terms of leverage and what you can achieve with the same amount of time in localized systems is your chances are better off mm -hmm. on the internet mm -hmm. than in localized systems I mean, that's uh, it if, okay so you, you, you made you made a comment that you know we just want the end result we don't want to put in work yes sir and that's the man mindset of manifesting miracles yes sir um having compared different markets and exposed being exposed to people who actually go out there and work and yes, create sir. and change what do you think the, uh, the 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 religious impact that our churches and the religious bodies are having place on our cognitive development and our character development because for example uh, i think it's rwanda yeah they shut down churches yes sir over six thousand yeah how yeah. many churches yeah and it there was if the effect was positive yes sir so here where i can open a church today yeah and people will come and listen to me yes, and sir. buy faith yes, sir. and hope, yes, sir. but will not work. Yes, sir. What what what's that contrast been like? In fact, I think statistically, there's a causal relationship between the poorest countries and the amount of time they spend praying. Yeah, yeah. it actually yeah, exists. I think I've seen that. Yeah, yes. it, it is. The poorer you are, the one thing which is, if I'm a very, I'm a deeply spiritual person. I hate religion. I hate organized religion. I think it's man-made. I think it's it's just human error in anything divine and in anything glorious so to answer the question um does it have an impact on the way we think and the way we approach things the answer is absolutely yes um but it's one of those dark like rabbit holes that if you if we jump into it now cereal we will go and go and go mm -hmm. to sugar chair. it's a, yes. like a bottomless pit right because immediately you, first of all what you need to understand about people who buy into religiosity f the the faith and hopium thing that you spoke about is the attack with emotions so immediately you made this point you've attacked their they, they you get defensive they get defensive yeah. they are not open minded to even have a conversation at any point in time i have seen different types of faith i've seen the the arabs and the muslims and the way they express faith i've traveled to different parts of the country people go and worship i've seen white people speak in tongues they pray they fall mm -hmm. under the anointing but they get up and they go because they understand that prayer is not in the money equation the parallel exactly the the laws that so any results come after work results after come prayer. after work no so anybody who truly understands the universe and says they venerate god and they love god should understand that he's a god that built universal laws so we have the law of seed time and we have the law of harvest time you cannot in any way skip any of these things so it in one sense is it's pretentious it's some sort mm -hmm. it's pretentious that's one secondly is really people looking for an anchor to their laziness mm -hmm. and they right. need something to hold on to mm -hmm. right they, and finally is the messiah complex everybody is looking for the next man them to come and save them so the risk, the self responsibility of saying this is my role in this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to develop myself. I'm going to be high value. I'm going to study. I'm going to add to myself. And when I stand, my competence will speak. My execution will be loud, and my results will be my answer. No. How how how? I I noticed something phenomenal yesterday on on X on Twitter. Yes, yes sir. Where somebody posted, uh, I think it was a Echo McLean. He posted a video of. A students praying. Students praying. Yes. Right. Even though they lost. Yeah. So the prayer didn't work. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> or students, you know, all over the mass and science quiz. Right. Place. And that video, and he he was appalled by that. That th it's, a, it's, it's an intellectual quiz. Yes, like sir. you know, it doesn't matter what religion the intellectual came with, if you know what the ke chemical compound is, you answer and go. Yeah. So this thing they are doing, be Yeah. And people were going at him, leave them alone, and you know they came, like you said, emotionally. They were yes, just sir. nobody put one plus one together. Trending at the same time that the video of this young kid who was expressing his view and his experience of the world mm -hmm. came about him that he's damned and he's doomed, and the 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 the, the, the contrast uh, is a celebrity son. I don't yes, want to, you know, he's a yes, little sir. kid. The contrast of this thing, which is not yielding results, right? They praying at a quiz, which. It's not going to accumulate one point. Yes, sir. People don't see the absurdity of it. But people rather see the absurdity of a young man who is trying to do something different and go against the green. We are stuck in this state where if it has the word religion, mm -hmm. do not touch it. Yeah. 
right? I mean, but look, even when it, it's you, you get it, if Atu ACM also came and not, said, if Atu ACM also came and said, God is good, God is good, God is good three times. Mm -hmm. I mean, you there understand? was even a video of him praying. In praying, yeah, in talks. Yeah, you understand that? that video. The law, is, the law is the law, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, it's it's um it's it's a topic that we have to we have to to pick up in and our dissect. Yeah. And dissect, yeah, our understanding of religion and how that has been, you know, because uh, it, it's been studied. It's been studied in like Kwame said. <laughs> okay, the there's a direct, yeah. there's a direct correlation, correlation. between so, economic impact and religious okay activity. No, but Let me come. But even Jesus said that give unto Caesar what, what belongs, belongs to Caesar. Caesar. That's, that's what I'm saying. Why he said that? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's, but it's what really happens when Caesar opens the church? That's what we have happened now. Yeah, but he's saying... He's oh, saying yeah, he's saying, when Jesus yeah. said it, there was a big was distinction, a distinction between yeah. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar and, Caesar and the church. Caesar. But yeah. now you have Caesar opening a church. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. That's, what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. That with what Kwame said, right, mm. to every original, there's a counterfeit. Like, to every working system, there is a group of people who say to themselves, we have to find a way... And finesse and it. finesse the system. Yeah. And that's what's happening. And you'll find you people who want the short route. Did you know see... So the, they will jump to the, that. The, did you know see um, the doctor who was arrested at Kolobu not too long ago? Yeah. The fake doctor. In, in the Kumasi. emergency ward. Yeah. Kumasi. Kumasi. Let me give you a moral... Let me, let me give you a moral conundrum. Let me, let me, let me tie your mind. The, whatever statistics or risk or error that fake doctor has created, let's say he's caused harm... Mm. He's he's led to the death of people. Mm. Statistically, is it worse? Is his mess ups worse than the person who, who is fully trained? Who is fully trained, mm -hmm. but maybe has twelve deaths to his. Or maybe this fake guy it's has just killed like five people. With the yeah. Maybe this fake guy has killed gone. five people, yeah, right? Yeah. And we are upset, mm -hmm. so we go and arrest him and put him in jail for the fake of it. Mm -hmm. But the person who has the license and has killed twenty people, yeah. he gets to wake up to his family every morning, mm -hmm. even though on the moral, on the logical, on the ras yeah, radical, rational. Yeah, 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 I'm not talking about the doctors alone. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the lawyer. The lawyer won cases over twenty-five people. We have. You get. Do you see the moral? Yeah. We 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 worship certificate so much that yeah. even at the point That's where you need to review, to tell you that yeah, yeah. I need school fees. Serial. I think there is a bug. Prof, prof. Yeah, yeah. I'm. What do you say? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Sure. School of Engineering, okay. electrical engineering professor. When is light get problem for us? You call go call electrician. Mensa close. Just one. Yeah, yeah. Go call electrician. Yeah. Mechanical yeah. engineering professor. When is cast out? Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Uh, I say, uh, you guys can't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mechanical engineer. He doesn't know this what's wrong with his car, but yeah. he knows the theory of it. This okay, all right. You guys, you've thrown enough shade around. Yeah, like it's enough. <laughs> the sun is shining. We need shade. Let me <laughs> calm it down. I like that. Yeah. Your upper, your upper <laughs> sense will never <laughs> no, 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 no. How do we generate interest to love what the internet is supposed to do for us in terms of like a Ooh. positive? You know, because I'm looking at you like, okay, me and you love the internet, yes, but you love it differently in a way, and I love it differently yes. in a way. But how do I adopt your love, that kind of love that you have for it? Must it be intentional? Is it something that should be passion driven? Um, right. it's, it's, it's a really tough one. It's a really tough one. I'm reading some comments on Facebook, and I'm and I'm asking myself that, okay, so me and them are all passing in the same bowl, right? But you find yourself in a different space of right. how did you manage to realize that you know what this is something that I can go to not because I want to ease stress right or catch up with what's happening around the world but this is something i can use to empower myself because it is how to empower yourself in this day and age okay i don't know if there's, there's you, an answer to this yeah <laughs> let me try sir i'm gonna try in two or three ways the first is there's mm -hmm. something called the law of intentionality okay now the law of intentionality works in this way you look at the desired outcome you reverse engineer and you ask yourself what amount of work needs to go in to produce that desired outcome. Right. That's the first thing. Right. The second thing is I have learned and I submit this very humbly that w maybe two of the greatest differences between the rich and the poor and those who make it and those who don't. Okay. Two things. One is information. Two is access. Mm. And this is my own little mm -hmm. quote. Um, the information part is... The, where the law of intentionality comes in. This man on the left here, like I said, we've had very deep conversations. This guy is one of the most learned, most read, hey. most researched. Hey. This guy's a high power. I know. Crazy, crazy. Stop crazy. it right there. Let's go. Let's go by association. This guy was the most. Yeah. There was. Yeah. yeah. There, oh, oh, sometimes happened. Oh, plenty. Oh. Is. 
No, no, it won't go. It won't go. It's in his head. You know what they worry this guy? <laughs> in school, go chop second. <laughs> but my school still did on my front. Uh, Can you imagine going to finals my, and my school, just today your front? My school chop third, so let's leave it, please. Ah. Yeah, ah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's oh, leave okay. it. Let's not go there. Oh. Let's focus lot, on the thing. A lot happened in, in the. A lot has happened. Why you? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Because you wanted us to do all the conferences, then you stopped calling me. Oh, hey, you traveled. Bro. Yeah, I was gone. So I was like, okay, you okay. are gone. Let me leave you alone. <laughs> so, <laughs> sir, let's give it to yeah. them as it is, bro. First, Rome was not built in a day. Uh -huh. So the law of intentionality. Some guy has come to say here, Jay Foley brought him. Let's take it that Jay Foley did due diligence, so he didn't bring a foolish guy. Yeah. And he's saying these are the possibilities online. They can feel free and go on my socials. They'll see the work. They'll see the output. They'll see yeah. the, uh, a little bit of the life we're able to afford thanks to the internet. Again, like I said, yeah. I didn't take my A4 sheet from the University of Ghana. Mm -hmm. oh. So that's something that we need to make clear. The second is... Just to add to you. Yes, sir. I also haven't. You also don't have. Okay, all right. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Oh, no, on God. Yeah. Hand on chest. On you don't God. have your shirt? Never no, sent out a CV. Never, in my never life. needed it. Okay. Internet, what? I left school in 2014. Internet. Tell me for shutting down. Nine years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. That's the first. The second is whatever it is. So you asked a very important question. Is it passion driven? Mm -hmm. Sir, when you are hungry, yeah, <laughs> well, hunger day, yeah. forget passion first. I, I know people have that conversation. You know, go according to your passion. It's great. If right now your passion is painting, yeah. like your passion is painting, God bless you. You are in Seshu Bekwai. Yeah. You're listening to this, and your passion is painting. Again, God bless you. I don't need to be a prophet to tell you your end. The environment will tell you your end. Ah. So at that point, when you approach the internet, please find a skill that can give you... See, if you don't get out of survival mode, there's a certain level of mm. execution you can never, never deliver. Mm -hmm. Survival mode will let you eat breadcrumbs and celebrate it as a buffet. <laughs> Survival mode will let you eat breadcrumbs. Yeah, Charlie, food. because Charlie, you're home. It's because today, I can't do. Yeah. Today and today only. Because it satisfies you today. You can't, you can't even think straight. Yeah. Somebody sold his birthright because of hunger. Hunger can be weaponized. Yeah. Hmm. But hunger is also a blessing in disguise. <laughs> Funny face used to say something. I said, come do a Ube answer. Yeah. So that's the thing. The third, the third is, bro, can we say it as it is? By avenue of where we're coming from, we are already a hundred steps behind. Yeah. Jeffoli, nobody get time to pamper you. I know, right? Nobody it's get time facts. to come explain to you that it's possible. Charlie, if you want to give up, give up. Yeah. Today, no motivation day. Yeah. You yeah. want to give give up. We are with tired. Yeah. When I wanted to see this man the first time, 2021, bro, I had one CD. I took 50 pesos from Dome. <laughs> got down at circle, <laughs> walk from circle to Blue Gate Hotel in Osu. Ask this man. Huh? That day when I got there, I saw Jerry, I saw celebrities. I wanted to die. He said, Come at five. I arrived at 10 a.m. Wow. <laughs> he finished, he came out, he gave me what they had. It was a Coca Cola ad. I will never forget this day. Oh, yeah. He gave it to me. He gave oh. me the sheet and said, Go home, go read it. I'll call you so we see how we're going to go about it. And he was very instrumental in how I came up. Yeah. Our people like pampering. So there is this absolutely ridiculous concept called the soft life i want to if, if they, uh, they will kill me if i go no, there no, so go. let me keep quiet go. because what kind of life is soft eh? yeah hey life it can't be soft you've I not been an like, adult before eh? you, you can't yeah. even have the soft life if you don't put in the hard the work hard or work, the yeah. smart work like, <laughs> you can't have it Omo, their concept of soft life is the express way to criminality yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because how would you afford that which you cannot pay for by yourself so. and you cannot sustain mm -hmm. by your own value? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what has so, birthed all the, the yeah. pseudo industries we have. Hookups, yeah. Jesus is king. So, <laughs> <laughs> Call me, wait, hold on, hold on. On this internet highway, there are people who say that, oh, you know, everything is going to crash along the line right. and everything. Because it's going at a speed that some people can't catch up with. Yes, please. Do you see the brakes being pulled anytime soon? Pulled? Um, uh, AI is here. Mm. No. Just even now set, no, 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 no. Another yeah. speed mode. Where, so the internet became exponential when we moved from an analog to digital. Mm -hmm. Once something goes digital, information, technology, binary, zeros and ones, you take off. There's no stop. 
So it's too late. Nobody is waiting for anybody. That's the reason why I brought in the caveat that is going to be necessary for you to apply yourself. Yeah. If you're not willing to put in double the work to catch up, only Lily started. Only Lily was trying to do TV, chasing people. One day he popped up on Deep Twitter. Foot. Yes, popped up on Twitter. Before I realized the guy was big on Twitter. I was like, ah! But those days you'll be trying yeah, to yeah, yeah, coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah. But before he was chasing people trying to explain himself, I can do this. No, he took agency. The internet gives personal agency. Mm. However, the language on the internet is value. Our people don't have a lot of that. So for those who are asking, three things. Number one, define what it is you want to do on the internet. There are blueprints. Mm -hmm. Guy, there's nothing avant-garde. There's nothing new under the sun. Solomon mm -hmm. has come. He has died and gone. Ahitophel has come. There's nothing you can invent that we have never seen before. Mm -hmm. What you want to be, somebody has walked the path. Success leaves clues. Get on there. Apply yourself. Um, research and learning and reading, it doesn't kill. I'm it is right. not illegal yet. Read. You won't die. Yeah. It, it, it illuminates your mind. It gives you a higher framework to see the yeah. world in. Because our people are so limited. Yeah. See, I got trolled on Twitter. What did I do? I put my fees on my website. Mm. I charge $25,000 if you want me to do a one-year um, endorsement deal. Mm -hmm. My local fee is $5,000. My international fee is $10,000. They picked it up and said, Now, when the you say? Yeah, because right. the only value they have to equate what you're offering is entertainment. entertainment. It's entertainment. Yeah. Because that's how they define their experience of it's the world. It's entertainment. Sir, it will shock you. Sorry? There are people who are saying to you... Bro. There are, there yeah, are people it. who are saying to you on Facebook right now, how do we do this? They are doing back-to-back, -back, 15 minutes check on TikTok, 10 minutes on Instagram. They are literally doing six to eight hours consuming content. Mm -hmm. Who did that to you? I know, right? Who put you in that position where all you can think about is swallow up, gobble up what people are feeding you. W at what point did it occur to you that, ah, oh, yeah, this yeah, this onion, 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 territory spaces, you're yeah. coming from the back you have to work 10 times as hard i drop one video a day you are now <coughs> coming you better drop three videos a day because i'm sitting on about 180,000 followers on on um, instagram 30,000 on facebook i reach 500,000 people when i post on all my platforms you're starting with 17 people so if i'm dropping one video a day you better Ten. drop 17 videos a day but no you're giving yourself all the reasons why and you fair now we are now all of those things not necessary the final thing is going to take time. Respect time. True. It's yeah. going to take time. Go I speak the way I speak and I slap my chest because I have results to prove. But this has been 10 years. You saw me run away from entertainment, rebrand. The acceptance wasn't coming. I used um, When I started probably speaking, the first 300 stages, Coca-Cola and meat pie in this Ghana. <laughs> Bro, I get citation like 700. I know if you put for house. Mm, mm. They go print for you right now. They go print citation for you right now with English. Thank you. <laughs> you, have to you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Read the comments. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let me quickly run through the yeah, comments. Yeah, Anas, Anas watching from Kofridia said he had to um, leave his TV to watch on Facebook. Um, this mm. is a serious issue being discussed. Rojiji says, Kwame is spitting fire. Joseph Mensa says, I'm feeling this man. Honestly, um, please, what is his handle? Uh, Kwame, you want yeah. to do that real quick? That feature is Kwame. F-U-T-U-R-I-S-T. Kwame on every platform. Okay. But you can you na. Future is Kwame. F-U-T-U-R-I-S-T. Kwame. K-W-A-M-E. I have a blue tick on every platform. Okay. Yes. Uh, Rojiji says, the invisible hand thing is what many are feeling to grasp. Uh, Julio says, Wotu Wotu season. Um, Abrante, Wotu Wotu. Uh, Wotu Wotu. Yeah. <laughs> Abrante says, this gentleman is absolutely doing a great service to the people. Thank you so much. Someone says, you are the Andrew Tate of Ghana. I don't know what that means. Uh, Prince Charles says, my mind has been baptized this morning. It's born again. Uh, Louise Ampia says, Futurist Kwame is always refreshing listening to you. Aubin George says, I'm really blessed to be here. Um, once again, Jay Kweku, the ruler, says, All Ghanaians know is, quote, I tap in your blessings. <laughs> <laughs> but, I see, I see Kobiche here yeah. as well. Definition, of, of, the, the definition of laziness. But they don't want to, they don't want to pass through the meal to get to where you are now. This one says, It's pure wisdom. Still says, Kwame is a better option. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Peace. You know what's Kobiche says, <laughs> 
<laughs> one problem. I beg you. Um, okay, someone says Kwame needs a whole week on culture daily to impact. Do you hear his rates? 25,000. Kwame Chair says, Great conversation, Kwame. He's a whole institution. I learned a lot from him. He genuinely came to support my Shine Summit. Okay. And lastly, uh, CD says, The head is big for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Kwame, I wish we could go on and on. It's yes, 10 our time yourself. Yes, we have to switch over as well yes, for sir. other conversations. But yes, thank sir. you so very much <laughs> for honoring this. Thank you for having me, man. Uh, when are you leaving town? Um, I leave. Uh, so I'm, I'm here for two weeks. Okay. Yes, please. Wow. Then I caught you at the right time. Pepe, Pepe. Wow, yeah, impressive. Yes. Well, and one Our time is well, up. Well, we well, have well, to well, go. Well, uh, well. Don't forget, star nine, uh, 959 hash. Um, money changes people, like they say. Jump onto 519 mobile, you can play the game Monday to Sunday all day. Just dub star 959 hash, and you boom, you are in as well. On that note, our time is up. We have to go back in here, same time tomorrow on Culture Daily. The women are taking over. Guess who's coming in? Big surprise, you don't want to miss this one.